everybody my name is Mary and welcome to my channel Mary Making Crafts and in today's video I've got a Diamond Art Club sneak peek for you and it is so cute I am really excited for this really beautiful painting so let's go ahead and get into it as you can see here this is a round diamond kit so all of your drills in this kit will be round um, this is called A Cat Named Poppy by Peggy Collins I'm obsessed. <laughs> it is so beautiful. We've got this beautiful tabby cat and all of these gorgeous rainbow colored poppies around it. I'm, I'm in love. So this one is 20 by 30 inches or 50.7 centimeters by 76 centimeters. What a, it's a beautiful size and I'm really excited to see the rendering. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. I always throw that disclaimer out now that I've got a little sleeping baby as I am filming this. So if we have to take a little pause, <laughs> you will know why. Or if you hear some odd sounds in the background, you'll know why. So opening up this box here, we've got our toolkit. We'll take a look at those contents here in just a minute. And then of course we have our beautiful dust cover bag with our canvas and our drills. So first up, I'm gonna go ahead and give that toolkit and open and we'll see what's in there. So first things first in our toolkit, this toolkit, we have the diamond cup tray and stopper to hold your drills. We also have a pen and squishy. Now my pen and squishy usually match. That is just a nice little comfort grip for you. They usually match each other, but you may get a totally different color from mine, but I'm digging this pink matches my, my, sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now. Um, but we've got that gorgeous pink pen and then we also have two multi-placers. So you can place four or seven diamonds at a time to put on the other side of our pen there. Get that set down. We also have our Diamond Art Club wax in our little heart tray. It's heart shaped. It's so sweet. I love it. We have a bag of baggies in case we want to kit up or kit down that painting. Get those in frame. Um, so we've got that bag of baggies to store your extra drills at the end. And we also have some washi tape. If you're not familiar with how to use that, I will go ahead and link right up here a video on how to use washi tape, but you can use that to cover the edges of the glue on your painting or to section it off so you can work on, on sections at a time. Very cool. And then continuing our pink theme, we have a little pink cover minder here. This one is shaped like a little dolphin. It is very cute. Um, this has two magnets here on the back. If you pull one of those magnets off and slide it underneath your canvas and then pull your plastic back, this one goes on top of that plastic and meets the magnet to hold the plastic back for you while you paint. So there you have it. There's everything that is in that toolkit. Now let's take a look at what's inside our dust cover bag. Okay, I can kind of see here. Yep, I grabbed the right end for once in my life. Um, so we've got this attached here. Let's pull this out. And yes, everything came out so easily. Oh my goodness. Okay, first up, I'm just going to show you this. We'll look at those colors. Beautiful. I'm in love. So all of our drill bags are always labeled uh, with the name of the painting. If you choose to store your canvas and your drills separately, you can absolutely do that. So your canvas and drills. We also have an insert in here um, with a thank you for your purchase and instructions on how to diamond paint to go to that VIP Facebook group, which is fun to see what people in the community are up to. And then links to the uh, QR code links to the app. So you can get 20% off your first purchase if you've never purchased through the app before. And I always put a little plug in there that uh, to definitely take advantage of Diamond Art Club's uh, rewards program because it's very generous and totally worth it. So now we're getting to the, the fun stuff. We've got, if I can keep it in my hand, we have our large sticker sheet. So this is um, a sticker here to, I just realized, I forgot something in our box. Speaking of stickers, hang on. Ah, okay. <laughs> we also have a small sticker just <laughs> 
just a heads up. I, I guess I forgot this one. I, I'll blame mom brain on that, I guess. But you also are going to have this small sticker. And I use this on the outside of my box um, on the top just for storage. But you can use this wherever you like and for whatever you you would like to use it for. We've got that small sticker in the box as well. So sorry, I did not mention that before. But then we have our large sticker sheet with the start and end date on it. Um, so I like to use these in a log book. Um, to record all of my finishes. And then, of course, we have our individual stickers here. I like to just peel one of those up so you can see what I'm talking about. These are individual to put on your um, containers of drills. So those are really nice. And then, of course, we have all of, this is our legend here with every single drill that is in this kit with all of the symbols. I love, love, love how colorful this is. Um, and I'm assuming, I'm like looking at it, I'm just assuming that this background here is all black, um, which is our 310. So I'm anticipating lots of bags of that, but it's still, it's so stunning. I'm so obsessed with this one. It's gorgeous. Um, anyway, so we've got, um, from looking at this uh, legend here, we have four drills that are under the number 150 in the color code here. And that means that they are Aurora Borealis. So those are AB drills. They just have like a iridescent coating on them. And then we also have two that start with Z here at the very end. And those are gonna be our fairy dust drills. So I will show you all of those special drills when we're going through all of the drills, which we will do here in just a second once I clean this up. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up to the back of our painting. So we're not gonna look at the canvas just yet. We'll take a look at the drills first and then we'll open up the canvas in a little bit. Okay, so starting us off strong here, we have two bags of Z666, which is a nice, beautiful red. And this is also a fairy dust drill, which means it has a very light coating of glitter on the drill and hopefully the camera is picking up some of that for you so you can see what I'm talking about because they are gorgeous and they just kind of add a little extra shimmer and I love them. <laughs> Next up, we have our ABs. We were talking about with the iridescent coating. This one is number 135. I have a bag of 892 and one of 319. We have a single loan bag here of 367, which is a gorgeous green. I really like that one. 3865, 814, 498, 890, 939, 3706, and 817. And for the last of our large bags, we have 989, 987, 3801, and then, like I said, we'd have lots of black. We do have four black bags of this 310. So it's actually a little bit less than I was expecting. I was expecting, I don't know, maybe five? I don't know. That 3801 though, wow. Okay, so four bags of 310. Moving along with some of our smaller quantities, we have 992, 311, 402, 807, 3708, and Z959. That is our second fairy dust, and you can see that, that glitter on there, it is gorgeous. These colors are so fun together. <laughs> Our next AB, 131, gorgeous orange, 993, 820, 3814, 165, 162, 740, and 154. And now some of our tiny quantities. We have 340, 336, 3608, 991. That's gorgeous. Um, 645, 841, 128, another A, B there. 3340, 3835, and 38.55. And for our final strand, we have 3782, 955, 730, 844, 3756, 3607, 796, 498, and 995. So there you have it. There are all of the drills, uh, all laid out for you. All of the absolutely stunning colors. 
this color palette, the camera does it absolutely no justice. I would like to say that. Um, but it, this color palette is absolutely phenomenal. Like it's just, it's gorgeous y'all. Look at that. It's so pretty. Um, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really digging these colors. Um, I'm the type of person that when I'm painting, if I have a very monochromatic painting, I tend to get a little bit bored. Um, and not that it's a bad thing. Those are gorgeous as well, but I love a good rainbow of color. So this is stunning. I'm obsessed. It's so beautiful. So I can't wait. I can't wait to see the actual canvas, which we're going to take a look at here in just a second. So as always, I do the best I can to keep this all in the frame for you, but we have our gorgeous painting. Now this is a, a portrait orientation, so it's up and down and our cameras film left to right. So um, just something to keep in mind, but I always like to make sure I let you know we've got our licensing information down here on the bottom left corner of this canvas. And uh, this just shows us that Diamond Art Club is fairly compensating its artists for the use of their artwork. We have a gorgeous velvety backing here on the back of that canvas and serge and scalloped edges to prevent fraying. And as always, our glue is impeccable. Super sticky, gorgeous, gorgeous symbols that you cannot mistake for other things. They are printed with the best clarity. It's amazing. Anyway, let's take a look, shall we? Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. I love it. Getting that up there for you. Absolutely stunning painting. Stunning. The colors are so, so fun. You would never get bored working on this one ever. I couldn't imagine ever getting bored. Um, if you are a cat lover, a flower lover, and or both, I definitely, this is a must have. It's like one of those where you're like, yep, absolutely add to cart, no questions. <laughs> That's me anyway. Um, so we've got our legend on the top left and bottom right as always. And this is amazing. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to see where the special drills uh, go as well. That will be fun to see. Uh, I have already pulled them out here. These are, this is our array of colors for all of our special drills. So very fun selection of, of really nice enhancements. And I'm going to take a look at where these go and then we'll, we'll take a look together. Okay. As you know, I'd love to always make sure I share my disclaimers that, um, for this particular painting, especially, the special drills are so scattered that it's not going to be possible for me to identify every place where these exist on the canvas <laughs> without actually doing it. Um, and so I just want to make sure that I clarify that and share that information. I'm also going to just zoom in a little bit so you can see um, the, the actual canvas just a little bit better. And I'll do the best I possibly can uh, to show you where these drills are on the canvas. Okay. Um, so starting off, we have our symbol number one, that is this 128 AB and that super light pink. I just see it scattered through, um, some of the light pink flowers. So this one is a great example where we have this lightest pink color where my finger is here. That is where I have that number one. Um, I see it just in some of the details up there in that bud um and then like down here in this flower right we've just got a little bit of it so it is it's really you know they're all going to be very scattered so i'm just kind of giving you some examples of where i see them um so this 131 is our simple number two it's an orange um now i see this in let's see this flower here we've got some happening and then I believe I saw it up here in the cat as well so like I said I'm hoping I'm doing this a little bit of justice but yes in the details of the cat I do see some of those twos kind of in his or her I guess it's a her since the cat's name is Poppy but here in like right here in the details of the cat in the tabby stripes so 
that is where I see those twos. Now the threes, this is interesting. So these threes, I'm gonna compare them to a regular red. These threes are like an orange. They look very orange on camera, but they're kind of an orangey red. And this is them compared next to like a true red. So you can kind of see that they're very orangey. So these threes um, are, I see them in some of the poppies, uh, as well as the definition here, like in the cat's ears, I see some threes um, in the details of the stripes here on the side. And let me show you, let's see, down here, it's a great example. So this poppy down here, you can kind of see those threes on the outside edge. I'll set this down on the outside edge of the of the actual uh, poppy flower down here. So, like I said, they're they're kind of everywhere. So it's hard to show you where they all go because they're so dispersed. So we've got also the symbol number four, which is this kind of yellow green color. Chartreuse is a great word for it. Um, so this one is in the light green details that are all in like the stalks of the flowers. So right here um, and right down here, I see them. They're literally everywhere, y'all. Um, so the stalks of the flowers here and in the bud up there. So they're, they're everywhere. You see that light green color. See if I see them in the kitty cat at all? Yes. So they also make up the eye of the cat there. You can see in the center of that eye, we've got those fours. And then we also have this Z959, which is one of our fairy dust drills. And it is like a right arrow kind of symbol. I'll show you in just a sec, but so here's our fairy dust. And that also makes up the eyes right up here. So we've got that right arrow pointing right here. And over here in this eye, we've got that right arrow. And then uh, down here in this flower, we also have those right arrows everywhere. So wherever you see that color on the canvas right there, that's, we also have those. And then we have, of course, our largest Z666. This is our second fairy dust. And the one we have the most the largest quantity of. And of course, you wouldn't have a painting called Poppy without this gorgeous Poppy Red being scattered all throughout in all of the Poppy flowers. So the symbol for that is the letter W, and that is, it's very prominent in this large Poppy on the bottom right. We've got that all throughout. And then we also have it scattered here through that large Poppy in the center. It's really everywhere. Everywhere you see red, there's highlights of that, that W. Oop. And even here, like on the kind of the cat where his collar would be, you've got W's there as well in that in that poppy. So they're they're everywhere, y'all. Everywhere. I'll kind of I'll kind of zoom you back out here so you can see the painting as a whole. There you go, there you have it. It is absolutely stunning, it's gorgeous. This is a, an, an absolute must for anyone who loves cats and or flowers, must. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and thank you so much to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit. Um, it is always such a special privilege to be able to show these to you uh, ahead of their release. This one is releasing tomorrow on uh, Saturday, February 17th. Uh, all the details will be down in my caption below, as well as a discount code uh, for 15% off if you have never purchased with Diamond Art Club before. So be sure to check out the details of this video and give this video a thumbs up, a like and subscribe for more content in the future. I'm hoping to be a little more active on my channel moving forward now that, the, the, that me and baby have settled in uh, thank you to everybody for your well wishes, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!